Hello guys, in today's video so I'm going to teach you how to do a curvy shapes building. First of all, what we need to do is go to the new file and select conceptual mass and then select your metric mass. If you cannot find the metric mass, it will be in your RVT 2015 or maybe if you have another version of Revit it will be in RVT 2016 or 17 and then going to the family templates go to English conceptual mass <coughs> yeah select metric mass now we have this new project of the conceptual mass so what we are going to do now is going to elevation and I'm going to select any elevation north elevation would be nice and then I'm going to create a new level you just can find it in here create new level I'm going to do um, maybe my building will be like 9 meter height ah, and just select this one pick line and it will be automatically create a new one a level 2 which is in 9 meter height ah, I want it to be a neat one so I need to write this one yeah and I have a nicely done elevation with the grids and then I'm going to go to the level 1 floor plan and the next things I'm going to do is to select this one spline and then just draw any shapes that we want it like maybe this circle shapes or like maybe something like this no it's a like moon shape building okay the tricky part of these types of line is we cannot connect this line to this line into one loop so you have to connect it by using another lines uh, this types of line I'm using I'm using this line okay to connect this to each of line yeah maybe this, this one is, it looks better okay the next thing that I'm going to do is uh, before that we can adjust it if you don't like the shapes you can just press it and you can uh, change in whatever shapes you want I want it to be like this uh, maybe this is cool and then going, I'm going to go to the 3D view. Now we have this line and the ground floor, I mean level 1 plan. And then I'm going to select this, this line also. And I'm going to copy this and paste it into the selected levels. I'm going to select it, the level 2. So it will be paste on the level 2 yeah and we have these two lines in the level 1 and level 2 so what we are going to do is select all the lines yeah, select all the lines yeah and then create a solid form and we have a form so the next thing we have we need to do is I'm going to dissolve all this thing back select all using tap button and select all the mess and then I'm going to dissolve it back so this is the line where the first part that we have done and what I'm going to do is select the level 2 lines only and then I'm going to the top 
view I'm going to RO rotate or this button rotate on the modify line here and then I'm going to rotate it like 45 degree or something yeah and it will be like this uneven line and next thing I'm going to select both of the lines in the level 1 and the level 2 yeah select all then create the form let's make it solid form yeah and we have one amazing curvy shapes maybe I want it like this and we can also adjust it by pressing the face yeah you can adjust it the height and you also can adjust the length yeah this one also can be adjusted yeah. yeah oh my god yeah I need to control Z okay the, so this is my building shapes and then I'm going to load into project and then it will be automatic in the project that we have opened before yeah and just place it and press escape now we have a mass a solid mass and then we're going to change into this 3d view yeah the mass that we have done before and this is the fun part which is I'm going to select this and we can create a cotton system here just just click cotton system and select which face you wanna do for the cotton system yeah maybe I wanna select all and create system and it will be generate the cutter system for this building and yeah we have a building that is full of glass it is not a glass yet and we can change the glass by selecting all the mass and then over here on the properties you can edit type and duplicate just rename it as class 1500 and 3000 mm and then the curtain panel just pick glaze which is uh, glass and then the grid one just need to add I think th this is okay. I'm going to select the mullion. Ah, just just select it anywhere. The rabbit will give you all these mullions, and then you can choose any mullions that you want. Just click OK, and then it will be generating. <coughs> it's regenerating oh um yeah just click ok and then we have a building that is full of glass yeah and this is how we do a curvy shapes building and that's all for today i'm going to teach you how to create a roof for this for this building and also uh, several maybe floors and doors 
for this kind of building thank you for watching we'll see you in the next video